sometimes, man, you just gotta know when to say goodbye. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Plant Man P. And today, we are saying goodbye and giving these guys a new home, my Philodendron Celium and the Philodendron Jungle Boogie. Never thought I'd see this day coming, but I'm very grateful because today, we're just repotting them and giving them bigger homes because they have outgrew their old home. So let's go on this journey of repotting. It's my first time repotting any of these two, so I don't know what to expect. I'm scared of what the roots are gonna look like, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so first thing first, if you do not have a drainage hole, no problem. I am a proud member of the No Drainage Hole, No Problem Committee. So what I'm doing right now is just using a hobby drill from Black & Decker that we have uh, just to drill out some drainage holes. Uh, I drilled out about four. I wish we had a bigger drill bit so that way the drainage holes would be more effective. But hey, we got to work with what we got. So I'm drilling out four right now, just going through the motions of getting it done. You want to be gentle with it uh, just so that way the pot doesn't crack or anything like that. But yeah, we're just going through the motions of getting these drainage holes drilled out and we'll catch back up with you guys. So now we're setting up our potting station. If you guys have potting tarps or if you know of a company or if you're a company watching that has potting tarps, hit us in the DMs. We'll be more than happy to uh, work something out and get a potting tarp and stop using these newspapers. So now we're just getting the tools necessary for uh, repotting, soil, perlite, the gloves. Um, I'm like iffy about gloves. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. But in this case, I'm pretty scared because I don't know what these roots are gonna look like. So I went ahead and put on some gloves. So now we're just using, um, we're using uh, miracle Grow soil and I'm just adding a little bit of perlite uh, just in case, because I do like, you know, so, uh, faster draining soil. And now we're just setting up that foundation. We're trying to uh, get the plant to the level that we want it to be at. And you want to be, okay, you want to be super careful with this. Um, so that way the plant doesn't just go flying out. Um, and also you don't damage any roots. And I like to use the old soil in the uh, beginning planter or the beginning pot that it was in before because I just feel like it's more, uh, it'll be adapting faster if that's the case. And with uh, when I mix the old soil with the new soil, it gets the old soil, the fertilizer and all the nutrition that it lacks. Um, so that way it's just a faster process or an easier, quicker process for the plant to adapt. And now we're gonna be repotting the jungle boogie, a pothos, and a rubber tree that just needed to be repotting during this grow season. The the jungle boogie was actually easier than I thought, but it just took long, if that makes any sense. Um, but next time I'll just be more prepared on doing it.
All right, guys. So it is like maybe three days after we repotted. Um, I kind of forgot about it and I kind of forgot to edit the video, but now that we have the video edited, we'll go ahead and show you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these uh, plants look like in their new home. So we got the Philodendron Jungle Boogie. Same pot or same part, same spot, just a different home. Um, this isn't irrelevant, but we actually repotted this. I don't know if you guys, if you guys remember it, um, it was a philodendron pedatum. Uh, we actually separated it into three uh, new plants. So this is one of them, but let's go ahead and show you what I'm most proud of. And it is the philodendron cellium that we repotted. Check out this new growth already. This is maybe, realistically, we. I think I shot this video Wednesday and it is now Saturday. And look at this new growth. It's freaking insane. Like within probably the next day, probably I started uh, seeing a shoot grow out. So I'm super excited to see what happens. Super excited to see the growth on this plant because it, it is definitely one of my favorites. So super excited for that. So let me go ahead and show you guys the rubber tree. I don't know if we have any new growth on there. I doubt it, but let me show you guys. So this is the rubber tree. We have it directly facing our balcony just so it can get that extra sunlight. I do see this. Hopefully this turns into a leaf sometime soon. There is also some new growth over here, but over here I started seeing it more profound once we repotted. So hopefully that's a good sign to let it grow. And I've actually been putting this into the majority of our plants. And especially with the philodendron cellium, as soon as I did that, I started seeing growth. So um, if you guys have any uh, recommendations or anything like that, have you guys tried this? Because to me, it apparently seems it's working. But if you guys have any like cons to this, please let me know. So that way, if there is any cons, we can stop using it. And then this is just the um, the neon pothos that we repotted. Nothing crazy. Oh, we do see some new growth right here though. So again, you always should repot the plants that need repotting during the growth season because look what happens, whole bunch of new growth. My bad y'all, I forgot to close out the video. But I'm editing it right now, I'm trying to get it out. We'll probably get it out Saturday, it's Saturday right now. Get you guys something to watch. But um, with that being said, I say that a lot, that's crazy. But with that being said, that's a wrap for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Enjoy this uh, clip of us packaging and shipping out the merch for you guys. You guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support. We love you so much. We can't even like, when I say thank you for the support, I feel like it's like, the, of course, the least we can say or the standard that we can say, but it also feels like we're being cheesy or something like that, but we're not. Like, this is incredible. You guys are the best. Um, enjoy this clip of us packaging out the merch to you guys. Um, the plants hat, by the time this video comes out, it will be uh, sold out or out off of the site. But again, thank you guys so much for your support. And what else? Oh, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 2,000. I think we are almost halfway there, like maybe a little bit under 1,500. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Share this with all your plant homies. Share this with your cousin. Share this with your little niece that just started TikTok. Tell her to get into some plants. But again, we'll catch you guys in the next video. We're out. Peace.